Okay, and so what I want to do here is I have this night nice sky, and I just open it up. Uh, they're in two different tabs, so I'm going to come to this tab right here, and I'm going to do Control A and Control C. I'm going to come back to this one. I'm going to do Control V as in Victor, and then I'm going to put that layer um, on the bottom. Oops. Show that again. It actually went into the folder which has its eyeball off. So I'm going to drag it to where I see the little line, um, that little teal line right beneath the folder. And I think that looks good. I'm just going to move this up a little bit, maybe something like that. Okay, and I'm going to actually, let's move down to both that piece. So one thing for sure we can notice right off, like these hues, just they don't match. So I'm going to, up here, I'm going to drop down another um, hue and saturation. And so this is how I'll color uh, match things. So I'm just going to take the saturation and put that to uh, zero. And then I'm going to come and let's drop down another. Let's do levels. And what I want to do with this uh, levels, I want to put it right underneath this hue and saturation. And I want to hold my Alt button down. And as I hold my mouse right down there, you'll see that there's an arrow that's pointing down. And so by holding Alt, I'll get that, and then I can left click. And now this little arrow, what that means is that it's only going to affect this layer and not everything below it um, like it normally would do. Okay. So from here, I'm going to... Let's do this. Let's take uh, some of this. So this is like brightness values. It's like crushing the brights, and these are crushing the darks. I don't want to crush the darks too much because I noticed I was losing a lot of detail. So I'm going to come right here, and this is saying like it's max brightness. And I'm just going to bring that down a little bit. And then I'm going to turn the eyeball on and off for the uh, hue and saturation. And so I'm just trying to match brightness right now. So I'm just trying to make that feel like that could match the sky a little bit. Okay, maybe something like that. And then I'm going to turn the hue and saturation off, and then let's take a look at what we got. Okay, so uh, there's a couple things that we could do. We could continue to um, drop in um, some adjustment layers. So we could do like our uh, color balance again. And then hold Alt down because right now, again, like if we change it, it's going to change everything. We don't want that. So I'm going to hold Alt down just so it affects this layer right here. And so we could add some more teal into these midtones, which that actually is kind of making that feel like it matches a little bit more. Go too insane with that. I'm just going to add maybe just a hair more blue. Although maybe not too much because that really feels more teal. So let's go into the highlights and let's add some more teal into that. And I'm just eyeballing that again. This feels a little too bright, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on these levels. I might darken that a little bit. So while this area looks good, this still feels uh, a little dark blue to me. So I'm going to play around with some of this. And that might be in the shadows. We need to get some more teal in there. We'll really crush that a little bit. And we'll look at the highlights. And that's looking okay so that's one one thing we can do and i definitely think this is um, helping quite a bit because if i turn that off that's what it looked like but it still feels a bit extreme like i don't like it being washed out that much right so with that said i could come over here and i could come to like the opacity for that layer and i could um, dial some of that in like i could completely turn that layer off and just turn it up just a little bit to where we keep some of those nice colors, but 
we don't completely, they, they feel like it matches a little bit better. So maybe something along these lines. Okay, and then I might come to this uh, sky layer and let's uh, drop in a levels right above that. And I just kind of want to play around with uh, that too, just to see kind of what I think. Because a lot of times what will happen when you look at skies, uh, especially during the daytime, the skies will be overexposed. Now, we won't run into that as bad at night. But I do tend to kind of like, uh, I, I feel like that is feeling a little better, just having that just a little bit brighter. So again, like I just think that's a little too dark, and then we turn the eyeball back on for that, and I think that's feeling a little, a little better. The other thing I might do is I might come and play with the scale of this. Uh, so I'm going to do Control T, and let's. Um, around. I don't want to get that stuff uh, in the background. I might scale it up quite a bit and just see how that even feels. Kind of try to hide that little castle in the background back there. Okay, so maybe something like that. I'm going to hit enter, and if I do control Z, that'll undo it, um, control shift and Z, we'll redo it, so control Z, control shift Z, and I think I kind of like that. So I think this is kind of looking uh, fairly decent um, for our map painting work.